Hey everybody, it's Mike Faye with Kotaku, and today I'm playing some Rise Against the Empire. It's the Star Wars Disney playset for Disney Infinity 3.0. Now, some people got it in a bundle when the game launched, but for everyone else, it's released today. Uh, it comes with Luke and Leia, and Disney also sent me Han Solo, Darth Vader, and Chewbacca. So this kit's all about the original series, the one that came with the, the basic bundle, was for the uh, the prequels. I don't know why they did that. Uh, maybe they wanted to build excitement. Starting with something low and, you know. Rise against the Empire. In their valiant struggle against the evil galactic empire, the heroes of the Rebel Alliance have stolen plans to the Empire's ultimate weapon, the Death Star. An armored space station with the power to destroy an entire planet. Intercepted over the desert planet of Tatooine, our heroes battle to protect R2-D2, the droid carrying the plans from the sinister agents of the Empire. And then this role will go on for a while and eventually it will cut to a planet. Kind of like drop down. But for slow readers this will last forever. Some people use these as vision tests. Here we go. So we have the planet of Tatooine, a spaceship, red and green lasers. Yes, we're in Star Wars land, everybody. In case you didn't recognize that music. That's the Ewok song. Having trouble dealing with this uh, voice acting. You go, Han Solo. You're a scoundrel. With your red striped pants. So we're on the run from uh, Sauron and the Borg. So the escape pod, we're going to actually ride this puppy down to Tatooine. So now we can drive an escape pod. I'm pretty sure this strays, some, strays from canon significantly because... Whoa! Whoa! Because this never happened. Not in real life. Not in the real world. Yeah, it's a kid's game. Ah! Can I, can I jet forward? Can I... No. I'm just moving with the stick. Ooh, fancy cinematic moments. Oh, rocks. Oh no. We've entered the atmosphere of Tatooine. Oh man, this is just like No Man's Sky. Maybe not that part. And now we're starting off with Luke. He is not my father. The mission guide indicates the direction and distance to your next mission objective. So now Luke's got to find the Klingons and pick up some uh, companion cleat cubes, unpainted companion cubes. Whoever designed these escape pods, he's a serious talking to. It seems like they're designed to bounce. I don't need that. I love the part in the original uh, movies where Luke slid across pipes. I'm using the force. Oh no! You killed my grandma! Prepare to die! Take that. That's what you get for killing Schmeer. Schmeer. Schmee? Smee? Fluff? Aiming at an enemy increases the damage of your shots. There we go. Look at that third person aiming combat there. This is like Battlefront. Auto 
has picked up something on his scanner and it is moving in your direction. Do please be careful. Do please do a better Anthony Daniels impression. In the air by them and oh, here we go. Your and keep them you to deal oh yeah, this is just like uh, the Devil May Cry portion of the original Star Wars movie. Let's keep going. <laughs> it's really funny actually. Use the force. Use the force to jump on this thing. Oh, Luke. You crazy scoundrel. He's not a scoundrel at all, really. That's Han. I get my Star Wars characters mixed up. If it's not Rebels, I don't care. I'm sorry. I do care. I don't know about you, but I've had my fill of uninvited guests. Please, friends, come inside. Not how this happened at all. <laughs> so that's the first mission. We had to find uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. We were all in a ship for some reason. I'm confused. But, you know... I mean, by the time they were all together, Obi-Wan was with them and then dead. Mistress Spoilers again. General Kenobi. General? You're Obi-Wan Kenobi? Okay, this is so not working for me. Within this R2 unit's memory bank is information vital. I mean, if Luke didn't meet Obi Wan Kenobi yet, how did he meet all of them? How does he have a lightsaber? None of this makes any sense. Then you're in luck, old man. It so happens that I'm the captain of the Millennium Falcon. It's the fastest ship in the galaxy. I have that scar on his chin. They well have your ship locked away in Mos Eisley for your failure to pay the credits you owe him. I'd completely forgotten about that. Thank you, 3PO. No doubt a solution will present itself at Mos Eisley. Luke, wait a moment. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Wait, the one I was using earlier? My father was a navigator. This is no. Your father was the best star pilot in the galaxy, and he was a good friend. How did my father die? He was killed by a young Jedi who was seduced by the dark side of the Force. That pupil was Darth Vader. Vader? You are such a lying asshole, Kenobi. I believe you too can be... I'm sorry, kids. If you're watching this and you're a kid and you wanted to see what the Star Wars thing's like and I just said asshole, I'm so sorry. Vader. I said it twice. Leah's looking fine, though. Hey, Leia. What's up? No wonder your brother fell for you. I'm sorry. Spoilers, this loading screen's taking a long time. Welcome to Moss Eisley, the most wretched hive of scum and villainy. You must be cautious. Must be cautious. Don't drink the water. All right. So we have all of Moss Eisley to play with, and that's kind of cool. And a bantha in the toy box. Which is a song by uh, Aerosmith. Banthas Welcome in the toy to box. Coin. Collect each one to invite the pictured character to join this adventure. So now I can take young Obi-Wan into this adventure once I connect enough coins, or coins, whatever. Or if we connect their their coin, their one coin, I guess. And that should confuse everybody. I'm riding a Bantha. Can I generate Bantha Podu? Because that's a Star Wars thing. Warm up. Let's go. Ready for action, sir. Good thing I'm being so inconspicuous here. They'll never notice me. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's swap this out. Let's put a different character on, see what happens. Darth Vader has not been unlocked for this play set yet. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Sorry, kids. Leia? Leia on a bantha. Okay, can I get off the bantha now? Dismount. Dismount, Leia. Come on. Using her force kicks. She doesn't know she's a Jedi yet. Hey, you. I checked on the Millennium Falcon, and I'm sorry to say it has been immobilized. It seems Jabba the Hutt is rather 
upset about an overdue debt. Oh. There's someone waiting for payment at the docking bay. Oh, it's that guy with the hat. It's not a hat. You are working with Solo. My master, Jabba the Hutt, has impounded Solo's ship. The Corellian owes a large debt. Give the 2,000 credits Solo owes me, and the ship will be returned. So obviously now I have to find monies. This hollow map shows your immediate surroundings and indicates any missions, threats, and other useful information. The arrows indicate where each point of interest is in relation to you. I suggest you clear the debt as quickly as possible. We need to get to Alderaan. So basically the rest of this quest, uh, this will be running around and collecting money to, to, to get off the planet, basically. There's a quest giver over there. There's uh, some stuff over here. <laughs> it's like a combat. I can fight something. What is he? What are you doing here? Tuscan Rangers ready to attack. Tall thing, get them first. Okay. Oh, here they come. Uh. Oh, wait, those are stormtroopers. Good job, Mike. You know, I never said I was the the Star Wars expert here. I'll use my ninja kicking action here to get rid of them. Where are the Tusken Raiders I was supposed to kill now? I feel... Is my face red? It is. Well, who knows where they went. So... I got, I got a base. I'm kind of evasive. Huh? Huh? Uh, no. okay. Well, anyway, there's some Tusken Raiders somewhere around here that I gotta kill. Oh, is that one over there? Those are Chabas. Chabas, Mike. That's good. You can toss them. Well, anyway, this is the Adventure Zone. I've gotta run around and collect money in order to get them out of debt. I can do that with Leia. I can do that with Luke. I can do that with, uh, Ham Salad here. Congratulations, you have taken possession. Ownership. I own you, Solo. I own you. And I can do it with Chewbacca here, who is somewhere on my desk. Chewbacca, where'd you go? Oh, here he is, right in front of me. Let me put him on that thing. Oh, he's heavy. He ain't heavy, he's Han's brother. Chewbacca riding a banta. Banta. Whatever. And that's Star Wars. <laughs> that is the, uh, the ri Rise Against the Empire. Uh, the beginnings. So you get the idea of what's going on here. We've got to get some money. We've got to get off planet. How long does it last? How extensive is it? I don't know yet, but I've got Chewy, Chewy riding a banta. Banta. Banta through Tat the uh, through uh, Moss Isley. And do you need any more than that? You really don't. I can't do a good Chewbacca. Thanks for watching, everybody.